This was my Minecraft with Distance Horizons mod before I tweak some settings. And here how it is now. So which shader is the best for performance? Today we're gonna only focus on performance, not quality. But at the end, I have a custom setting that will look good and also give performance. So the first shader we have is Blush. The shader is just amazing, but since it's the most amazing shader, it also requires a good PC. And I mean very good PC. And most of you don't have NASA as your neighbor, so you can't borrow their computer. But worry not, I got around average 64 FPS with this and I didn't even have to borrow NASA's computer. But worry not again. Because I got 30 FPS on my Intel i3 processor with 12 GB RAM just by tweaking a little bit of shader settings. I will tell you everything you need to know in a minute. By the way, you should check out this video because we are using a mod called Chunky. It preloads chunks and makes it faster to load when you first join the world. Also, all of these FPS comparison are done after I preloaded all the chunks. So you might not get the same boost if you don't do it. So check out that video after this one because that's the last step. First, you need to set shader settings that I'm gonna tell you and then preload the chunks. Our next shader is simple. I got 57 FPS on average and it was doing worse than bliss. I don't know what to say about this shader, it was just a bad experience. <laughs> but still, it's good if you can run it with distant horizons. And next up, we have my first shader I have ever used, BSL. And I was getting average 96 FPS with high settings. That's 30% more FPS. Let me know if it's correct. I never went to school. But what will happen if I put BSL settings to minimum? That's very clever. How did you guys come up with that? But first, let's try out our other shaders. Just kidding, they don't work, I don't know why. They say they will work with Distant Horizon on the website, but they don't. So let's get back to getting more FPS. And that is minimum PSL settings. The one downside to this setting is there is no shadow, so it will look so flat and bad. But look at that, 155 average FPS. And then maximum FPS was almost 180. That's double the amount from high BSL settings. But wait, this looks so bad, so let's tweak some settings. And this is what you should do first before doing anything. Go to the video setting, shader settings, then lighting, then turn on real time shadows. Then put shadow map quality to low. If your FPS suffers, put it to lowest. Now go to atmosphere and put clouds to vanilla. And the fog density to 0.37. Now go back and go to camera and turn off blue. And that's it, now turn off the shaders and make a new world without distant horizons is on. And follow this video and you're pretty much done. Thanks for watching, bye bye, subscribe.